Hey, can you just chill, bro? It's just a draft. Hey. Guess what we're doing today? A makeup video. As you all can see, I don't have on makeup currently, so I'm gonna take you all through the whole process. Now granted, I do not do this every day, and I believe most individuals that state that it's their everyday makeup routine, it's more so related to whenever they do makeup. So this is like their go-to or their staple. So on my channel, I've been getting a lot of requests to do makeup tutorials. And I feel like I've done this tutorial before, but maybe because it wasn't in an isolated video, you guys didn't see it. But this is gonna be an isolated video only about makeup, so let's get into it. Now we're about to get into the makeup, but before we get started, I do wanna show you all what the scarring looks like from my mole. Many of you guys have asked, is there a scar, is there a blemish there? So I'm gonna show you all that now. So this is the side I had my mole on, and I'm gonna zoom in closer so you all can get a better sense of what it looks like. So this is the mark that's currently there. It is smooth, and again, I have been applying Neospore into that area just so it'll clear up, hopefully faster, and heal nicely. But from articles that I've read, this should go away. But if it doesn't, I'm okay with it. I'm fine with just not having the protrusion that I had from my mole. I'd rather have this any day, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. And with the makeup, it's going to conceal all of this. You don't even see that mark. So, yeah. So now let's get into this makeup. All right, so whenever I start my makeup, I always start by priming my face. And this is the primer that I like to use. It's the Stay Matte Primer by Rimmel London. This is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. I put it on my eyebrows, my nose, everywhere. One time for the draft, you already know what it is. Look. So now that I have the primer all over my face, I'm going to begin to apply my foundation. I'm now going to apply my foundation sticks, and these are by Black Radiance. I love these. I'm in the color Cashmere. That's my base. And then I contour with the color Espresso. And this is what these look like. They actually have two heads, so the top part of it is the actual foundation. And then the bottom is a brush. So this is the bottom. It's really nice and convenient if you decide to use the brush. But I don't. I don't use the brush. And for those who may be wondering what hair I'm wearing, this is the Icy Hair in Mongolian Kinky Curly. I did a video on my channel. It may be the video before this one or the one just before my last video. And I'm really liking this hair. I actually washed it and tried to define the curls again, but something that I'd like to mention about this hair, if you get this particular texture, it is gonna be looser than the bundles. I have noticed that those who've gotten the bundles, their hair looks much curlier and it's not as loose. And I love that curl pattern. I was hoping I was gonna get that with the wig. So that's something that's different. And then also what I noticed is diffusing the hair right after is so important. This time when I washed it, I didn't diffuse it right away after washing it. And I wish I had done that because I feel like it's longer and the curls are more elongated. Like as you can see on this side, it's not as short as it looked in my last video. And I like a really defined look. So next time I wash it or attempt to define the curls, I'm gonna make sure to do it on my head and diffuse the hair right after because I let it air dry too much before diffusing and the hair looks longer. So now that I have the foundation on, I'm gonna use 
And these brushes are from Amazon. I don't know the name of these. But they were pretty affordable. It came in like a set of like, I think it was like eight to 10 brushes. I'm gonna use this one. It's like a flat brush. I'm also gonna put some on my neck. But my heart is what you put your stock in. I don't need no other option. We are looking very orange right now. <laughs> Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. So after doing that, I'm gonna begin to apply my highlight under my eyes and then I contour after. So to highlight, I'm gonna be using the HD Pro Concealer, and this is in color Toffee, and you can find this at your local beauty supply store. You can also find it on Amazon. Baby, won't you come and hop in? We can take the 45 and 20. 20. Introduce you to the east side. To the east side. Ride or die, you my all or nothing. Yeah. Baby girl, won't you be my? So I like to apply the highlight under my eyes and then blend it out with a beauty sponge and this one's by real technique i'm gonna go and make sure it's damp and then begin to blend it out and after i do that i like to follow it up by doing my nose and then my forehead now the excess that's left on the sponge i'm gonna press that into the area just above my lip that's why i keep through the city with my babe. Lady, lady, come and let me tell you something. Lately, I've been wondering if you could be my forever. See you now. Before we go into contour, I'm gonna add my setting powder. Now, the setting powder that I love using is by Black Opal, and this is in color Neutral Light. This is what it looks like. You can find this at Walmart. Now, I don't bake because I have combination dry to oily skin, and I feel like when I bake, my skin looks really dry, and I don't like that. So, I just kind of press it in. And I feel like once it oxidizes and everything comes together, it just looks, it looks great. Let's just stay here together. I know your mama told you don't let guys get running off with your love. You don't even open up. Now I get a lot of questions when I do my makeup videos about this particular portion. I feel like this really helps to reduce the laugh lines and I laugh a lot, I smile a lot. So I really need this. So putting the powder on your laugh lines during the application process is really gonna help with reducing that. So your heart can't get crushed. You've been let down so many times you wonder if you need to get up. You done been through too much, but I ain't trying to mess this up. Alright, so it's coming together guys. And then under my cheekbone, you can kind of see a little line. I have a natural line there and it's really awesome because it helps me to be able to see where I need to apply the powder. So under that area, just under my cheekbone, I'm going to apply more powder. And that's going to make my cheekbones stand out even more. Let's get away. We can take a trip to the bay. Hit the beach, take a vacay. Whatever you like, yeah. Whatever you like. All right, now it's time to contour. And I'm going to be doing so using my other foundation stick that I told you guys about at the beginning. And this is the Color Perfect Foundation Stick by Black Radiance in color Espresso. And for some reason, this color can be more challenging to find. It also seems to be more expensive. I think the other colors were under $5, but this one was like $9. It's a beautiful color though, but I don't understand why it's more expensive. And I'm gonna go on my forehead and my nose, which I have a tiny nose, but I still like to contour. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my, my, you done stressing the night. Stay up, watch the sunrise. We just fine. You just need your vacation. You just need your vacation. You just need your vacation. 
keep it safe forever. It's a mighty long time. Okay, now I'm gonna take my buffing brush, and this one is by is this Real Techniques? Yes, I'm gonna take my buffing brush by Real Techniques, and I'm gonna buff everything out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tripping if it mean that I'm holding you close to me Baby girl, you all I need Your smile is everything Come and be my company Now, I most likely don't need it But <laughs> I'm going to go in with my contour palette And this is by Black Radiance I use a lot of their products And I'm going to use the color Sculpt And contour Sculpt and contour from this palette It does have a highlighter, but I don't use that one So I'm going to use this one first and then this one closer to my side first. You need to take off for work. We can roll trip in the A. We can take a dip by the bay. Hop on a plane, go to Spain. No matter the place. Girl, you melt my whole life on pay. Ay. I know your mama told you don't look guys go running off with your love. You done been through too much. So I ain't trying to mess this up. No, no, no. Okay, now we're going to add blush. And the blush palette that I'm going to use is also from, you guessed it, Black Radiance. <laughs> And this is their Blushing Bronze Palette. I did recently order the Matte Raisin and also the Film Noir. So I'm excited to see what those are going to look like because I've been using this one nonstop. And I kind of want to switch it up a bit. Let's get away. We can take a trip to the bay. Hit the beach, take a vacay. Whatever you like, yeah. Whatever you like. Oh my, my. You done stressing the night. Stay up, watch the sunrise. We just fine. I also like to apply it to my forehead. And I know I have a large forehead, guys, but I love it. God gave it to me. Okay, and then also on the tip of my nose, right on the little button. And I think I also put some on my chin, just a little bit. We're just bringing some color back into my face. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend that out a little bit. We don't want it really heavy. Okay, now for the highlight. I like to use this palette and it's an old It's My Ray Ray Deluxe palette and this was on BH Cosmetics. I don't even know if it's showing up but it's hard to find this one now. I tried to buy one for my sister and it was hard to locate. I believe they have them on eBay, but don't quote me. When I last saw them, they were on eBay, but I don't know if they still have them in stock. And I like to use the color French Toast. It's my favorite color. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Staring at you on the set plane. I ain't worried about nothing. Cause you got me feeling like the Wayne Wade in 03. Yeah, you and me, we got the heat. So bump all that anxiety. But you hit to the side of me. Alright, now we're gonna move on to brows. Before applying a pencil to my brows, I like to use a spoolie to make sure that they're flowing in the right direction. I feel like I'm gliding. And honestly, look, I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. So now we're going to begin to pencil in my brows and I like to use this e.l.f. pencil in color black and this Jordana eyeliner pencil in color black brown. So I use two. Now the black color I use along the ends of my brows and the brown black near the start of my brows because I don't want that area to look too dark. So I'm just going to do that now. That you wish you had my plans without me. Look, I hate to make this song about me. Now for the brown black, I use really light strokes along my brows. Tell me how you feel, tell me what it is, tell me what it ain't. Trigger happy, you looking by, I might just stay the night. Tell them dudes that can fall back. Kid in the kill, I need all that. Let them call, but don't call back. Let them call, but don't. I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. All right, now to refine my brows, I'm going to use color Cool Tan. And I'm using LA Pro Concealer in order to do this. So I'm going to go under my brows as well as on the top just to make everything look nice and awesome. And I'm using an angle brush to do this. That you wish you had my plans without me. 
Look, I hate to make this song about me But I really wanna tell you that I still get goosebumps whenever you call When I pull up to your house in my car When we kiss, you make me sound the alarm When we kiss, that thing go ring Now, just to create a nice canvas for my eyeshadow, I am applying the same concealer to my eyelids. Oh gracious. All right, moving right along. Now for eyeshadow, we're gonna use the It's My Ray Ray Deluxe Palette. So this palette doesn't just come with highlighters, it also comes with eyeshadows. It's so awesome. And it has some really, really pretty colors. Like, look at those colors, guys. Ooh. So I'm gonna be using the color Friday first, and then in my creasing area, I'm gonna be using this color and that's Connie. Now on my actual eyelid, I'm going to take the color Fairy Tail and also the color Allison. I like mixing these two colors. So this one and this one. When I pull up to your house in my car, when we kiss you make me sound the alarm, when we kiss that thing go ring, 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 I goosebumps whenever you call. Okay, now... I'm gonna line my eyes, but before I do that, I like to put my glue on my lashes. That way you can go ahead and be getting tacky while I'm applying my eyeliner. These are the lashes that I like to use, and these are by Coco Lashes, and these are in style Venus. These are my favorite. Here we go again. I gotta pay these bills, save something. I need 10 more hours in a day. And when I'm feeling stuck, something else comes up. Sometimes I want to have fun, but I can't. Got problems that I'm dealing with. So many, so many, so many mistakes I made. I'm living with so many, so many, so many. But I gotta. Okay, so I just do the top line. I don't actually do the bottom. I used to do the bottom, but I don't do it anymore. I may eventually start using mascara on my bottom lashes, but. Right now, I like the way it looks with only the top lined. Find a way to make it through today. I'm leaning on, I'm leaning on a song that says, Everything's gonna be, gonna be okay, okay. Stop carrying problems through your life. Just let it be, cause everything will happen. So get up on your feet and stop worrying about it. All right, guys, we're down to the final step. It's time to wipe off the excess powder and do this lip combo that all of you guys ask me about so frequently. <laughs> so for my base, I like to use this Wet n Wild lipstick, and this is in color Mocha Licious. It's such a pretty color. I love this color, and I need to get some more. So I'm gonna put this on my lips first. I don't like to apply my liner first. I always apply the lipstick and then the liner. And the liner that I like to use is this 24 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil. It is an eyeshadow pencil, but trust me, y'all, this glides on so nicely. It can actually be just your main lip color. I've done that before too, and it looks so pretty. So this is in color Tenacious Brown. And then I follow it up with this lippy in color Cheap Feels, and this is by NYX. Again, all drugstore products. Everything's gonna change, gonna change when you surrender Get rid of bad people in your life Have faith and see that anything can happen So get up on your feet and stop worrying about things Here we go again, I gotta start all over making friends I need better people in my space I wanna be in love, other times I just wanna give up and now I'm going to clean around my mouth with my Revlon foundation and an angle brush. I need to learn to trust, but I can't. Got problems that I'm dealing with so many, so many, so many. Mistakes I've made, I'm living with so many, so many, so many. But I gotta find a way to make it through today. I'm leaning on, I'm leaning on. 
guys the lips was the final step but I forgot I usually add a pop of shimmer in my tear ducts now this just makes the look like even more saucy okay so I'm gonna use the color Allison in my inner tear ducts that's this color right here this video i hope you all enjoyed seeing my everyday makeup routine and that the majority of the items that i showed you guys were drugstore items so they're very affordable these are things that i use on a regular basis whenever i do my makeup these are my go-to and i don't wear makeup every single day i do my makeup maybe every other day or maybe there's like a two day span of time, sometimes two to three days between when I do my makeup because I like wearing my skin and allowing it to breathe. So this is not done every single day. And someone also asked me how long it takes me to do my makeup. It generally takes me around 45 minutes to an hour. In the past, it took me like two hours, but I've gotten so much better where I can do it much faster, which is great. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you all enjoyed this format where I did a talk through this time. I know it was longer than most of my video, but it's kind of hard to talk and show you guys things and let you all know the process without doing a voiceover and then condensing it. But just let me know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. So get up all on all your feet all and stop worrying about the things. Everything is gonna work out fine. Everything is gonna be okay. Everything is gonna come on time. All I gotta do is live today.